So I feel like most of my audience is familiar with Jesse Lee Peterson. If not, then uh, he is a far-right pro-Trump radio host, and he is known for saying a lot of outright extreme and outrageous things. Um, and one of the main things that he focuses on is rebuilding manhood. He wants men to be men and women to be women. And if you are a man, you're supposed to be heterosexual and act masculine. Because if you don't, then you would be, as he'd put it, beta male, beta. Yes, a beta male. So he's produced a number of videos explaining the evils of homosexuality and how nobody is born gay and that if you want to stop being homosexual, I mean, basically, it's as easy as flipping a switch, as that thumbnail implies. So let's listen to his advice on how to stop being homosexual, specifically the video titled How to Stop Being a Homosexual, and hear what he has to say. The spirit of homosexuality is of their father, the devil. It's not them, the person. It's the spirit that made a home in them. And it came from them overreacting to some sort of a situation in life, whether it's from someone... Uh, uh, messing with them when they were kids or overreacting to an angry mother because you become like what you hate. So it's an evil spirit and they can't overcome it if they don't accept it as a right. They have to see that, yes, they're stuck into it, but it's something wrong with it. And in that, they're able to overcome it. God will remove that spirit away from them. Okay, so in short, you can overcome it. Um, I think you know where I'm going with this. So, on his Twitter page, as you can see, you know, he, he has all of his likes here, and he liked a tweet from Donald Trump, where Trump says, make America great again, and then if you scroll down a little bit more, you see that he liked a tweet from your daddy only fans, XXL boy, where there is a video of part two of a collaboration with Sean Boy and Anthony D. Um, and basically, this is the video of two men having gay sex, and it is censored. But um, as you can see, um, there is one man eating out another man's booty hole. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> he liked this on his public account for his show. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like, this is hilarious, this is hilarious, and he left that liked tweet up for hours, it was there for hours, and immediately after he realized that he liked that tweet, he set his account to private, probably because he's gonna scroll through and make sure that he didn't like any other gay porn tweets because he maybe thought that he was using his throwaway account, not logged into his public account. And um, I'm sure he's gotta make sure everything is, is okay. So I don't know if he's even gonna speak to this, but if he does speak to this, then I would imagine that he is, uh, he's going to say he was either hacked or one of his interns or staffers did that and they've been fired because they're homosexuals and that's evil. But we all know what this is about, and I think that Lance from the Serfs put it best. How it started versus how it's going. I mean, there's only one word to explain all of this. It is amazing. Amazing! <laughs> now, obviously, um, it is not a bad thing if Jesse Lee Peterson is gay. Because, of course, it's perfectly natural, contrary to what he would have you believe. So, you know, there's this question, is it... Is it ethical for us to point this out and, and shame him and make fun of him? I would argue yes. Because, look, and, and there's disagreement about this within the LGBTQ plus community. But um, if someone is publicly anti-gay and homophobic, then when they are caught, as they usually are, being gay, then I think it's important that we point out their hypocrisy. Because he's convincing people that being gay is bad and you should not be gay. How to respond to gay people. Don't be gay. Don't act gay. Be an alpha male, not a beta male. So as he's saying all of this deep down, he is gay. Now, I'm sure that he's struggling internally. It's probably a difficult battle with him. But the problem is that the things that he's saying publicly, we have to make sure that he is delegitimized. We have to make sure that people know he's a fraud and not to take him seriously. Because the things that he says 
can be deeply damaging. Like if you're a gay person and you genuinely are struggling and you don't want to come out and you listen to someone like Jesse Lee Peterson tell you that you, you can choose to not be gay, you should suppress it, like that can lead to really horrible things. People end up hating themselves. They, you know, end up doing self-harm. We don't want that to happen. So I think that ethically speaking, even though there there's some fears about, you know, shaming him, not necessarily for being gay, but for being a hypocrite, we have to put that aside because we have to make this utilitarian decision. It's, this is for the greater good. People need to know that what he's saying is bogus. If you are gay, you should accept yourself and love yourself, not hate yourself, not suppress those feelings. So we have to make sure that people know everything he's preaching here is complete bullshit. It's not like we are going out of his out of our way to out him he outed himself and it may have been accidental but nonetheless he still outed himself this is his own fault right um and look speaking from a position of a, a gay dude who was outed i i came out to about like three to five percent of all of the people who i wanted to and then i was outed to everyone i mean we're talking uh parents of childhood friends uh, old people that knew me uh, from the church that my family used to go to when I was a kid. Like, everyone knew, including people, siblings who were hostile and could potentially, you know, physically harm me. Like, everyone knew. I was outed to everyone. So speaking from a position of experience, I don't feel bad about people like this getting outed. I don't think it is ethically a bad thing if people like Jesse Lee Peterson uh, out themselves and then we, you know, let everyone know that he is a fraud and a hypocrite. Because, again, the damage that he can cause by spreading anti-gay propaganda, talking about how bad it is and how you should suppress those feelings or not like yourself, that can lead to someone hating themselves. So, um, you know, the, the best thing that Jesse Lee Peterson should do or can do is to just own up to it. Just admit, look, yeah, I, I'm gay. I'm struggling with it. Um, this has been something that I've always dealt with and, you know, I've kind of taught myself to suppress it, but I'm going to accept it now. I'm going to embrace it now because this is who I am. Yes, people are born gay. Uh, no, I can't change it because I probably would have being a Trump supporter who is vehemently anti-gay, at least publicly. Uh, so, I mean, the whole story, like, there really is some poetic justice in this because, you know, it's always the biggest homophobes that end up inadvertently outing themselves. I mean, who was it? Ted Haggard, who was this hugely popular anti-gay preacher back in the 2000s, and he was caught with a gay prostitute, I think, or a gay porn star uh, with drugs. I mean, they always end up outing themselves. It's an inevitability at this point because you can only hold up that facade for so long until you end up making a mistake and you end up exposing yourself. And I feel like, hear me now, quote me later, the next one is definitely going to be Steven Crowder because he focuses so much on LGBTQ issues. There's no way he's not gay or trans. Like, if you focus so much on this, if this consumes such a large portion of your mind, of your mental space, there's something deep going on. Like, you're, you're inadvertently revealing to us that really you're projecting, like you're the one who's struggling. You know, when you talk about, oh, these gay people, they're 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 silly, uh, they're bad, or you make fun of gay people, as uh, Stephen Crowder did, Carlos Mazza. Like, you're saying more about yourself than you are about the gay people. So he's gonna be the next one. Uh, like, I just feel it. Maybe it'll be like decades down the road, but at some point, Stephen Crowder is gonna expose himself, not just him, like other homophobes, because again. Like, there's no reason for you to care this much about an issue, to focus so much on homosexuality or transgender issues, unless you yourself have some skeletons in your closet that you're trying to suppress. I mean, another example, Alex Jones, Yay. huge transphobe. And when he's on a live stream, we see that he has transgender pornography on his phone in one of his browsers. So they always end up doing this. And sooner or later, they're going to get busted. Um, so uh, I don't feel bad about us, you know, making fun of Jesse Lee Peterson because he has revealed himself to be a hypocrite. I think this is necessary so people know that we shouldn't take individuals like this who preach hate seriously. They are frauds and hypocrites almost always, and anything that they say is bullshit. Because if you could, like, suppress your sexuality to the, to the point where you become straight, like, they would be doing it, right? You, we wouldn't find Jesse Lee Peterson liking porn where two dudes are eating each other's asses out. Like, we wouldn't, we wouldn't see that. So uh, I, I find it funny, and uh, this is what you get. You uh, be anti-gay, then um, 
sometimes you just end up exposing yourself in the most hilarious way possible publicly. And it's embarrassing. Like, I kind of feel bad for him because, you know, there's there's no doubt that he's struggling. But we've got to point this out to people because what he says about homosexuality is deeply troubling and it could really lead people to harm themselves. Beta male, not a beta male.